Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking the means a lot that you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And today, we're talking about the entire 43 cast. I mean, this is a cast that's a very, very good. I think a very good improvement on the casting in, in the past two seasons. Uh, definitely promising for this new era. And although there's a bunch of things in this new era, namely the 26 days as well as the... Um, Let's just put it this way, the, the odd twists that we're, we're seeing. I think that this cast shows promise for this new era, but we're not really talking about entertainment value in this video. This is much more about gameplay. Who plays the best game on this cast? We are gonna rank them from worst to best. Let's go. All right, first up at 18, at last place, I have to put Geo. To me, it was either Geo or the number 17 pick. For me, the only reason that I put Geo here, even though Geo makes it farther than this number 17 pick, I just feel like Geo's was much more embarrassing. Whereas in the person at 17 also kind of got tricked by their tribe, I think the biggest difference is that the person at 17 maybe had less of a chance here geo had much more potential and just blew it and he blew it in such a blatant way here he completely misreads his tribe and he basically four people completely and utterly trick him into thinking that he's in control one of the most embarrassing ways to, to lose the game to think that you have everyone on your tribe on your side and then you just get completely blindsided at 17 here i have justine for the exact same reasons again just a very embarrassing blindside a blindside that was so blatant and just based off such poor gameplay by her and such a poor read on her tribe now the big difference i do think because they both had n number one allies in ryan and in noel i think the thing that separates them here is that I think Justine never really had a chance to go super far on, on her tribe, whereas in Geo, I think if he had trusted the right people, could have gone farther. At number 16 here, we have Mariah, and her game really comes down to convincing Ellie that the All Good Girls Alliance is worth doing. She didn't do that, and that's why she's gone home now. At number 15 here, I have Ryan. And for those of you, you know, in my comments who don't watch any of my videos and just say that I'm always pandering to my audience, just know this is going to go against many of the people in my audience who love Ryan. I think Ryan's a bad player at Survivor. I think he's a horrible player, actually. One of the worst to make the merge um, in a while. I mean, it's, it's bad. He played a bad game. You know, him and Geo played one of the worst pre-merges by a duo that I've ever seen. Again, just horrible gameplay all around. And Ryan definitely deserves to be this low, possibly lower. But again, it's like, can you really put him below the first boot? 14, I have NECA. She kind of just fell here. There's no specific reason. The end of her game is just not con convincing Jesse and Cody that her strength in challenges was less important than her loyalty. They decided that she was just that big of a challenge loss threat that they had to get her out and really made a move that wasn't good for their game maybe in the end it worked out because it lowered their threat level coming into the merge but i think overall they would have had more options with a third vote in NECA. so i do think NECA does re really really fail there in the strategy and social gameplay not convincing her own allies that getting her out is a bad move at number 13 we have a confusing one because i don't think they showed all of Lindsay's boot in its glory they probably made it look much worse than it was but i can only go off of what I saw because if I just believe Lindsay's post game in interviews where she claims that the show completely lied then I'd be doing the same thing as just believing the show so I'm gonna assume that it's somewhere in the middle and that's the case I think Lindsay here just kind of slips up and makes not the best move here being a little too paranoid and just kind of flaming out here again just deep breaths do not play scared you cannot play the game scared this is what happens to you at 12 I have Janine and I just can't say Janine does anything here and really this pairs in Janine and Ellie the reason that Ellie does make it higher on the list even though Ellie goes out in, in the round before Janine is simply because I think Ellie had more potential if she lowered her threat level and didn't play as aggressively whereas in, like to me Janine was never going anywhere not anywhere i feel like she was never going to win the game she wasn't going to you know be even to me you know a second place finisher i think she was going to be a go at the end as her game just was simply not as aggressive as it needed to be next up i have ellie i think ellie can't really be much farther up because again like i just said her appeal is her threat level and the fact that she played the game very aggressively at least aggressively in a social way she may not have made big moves but she was really gunning for these relationships which is almost as impressive as making these big moves like the Jessies and Cody's and 
Carla's did. Now, the issue is she kept her threat level way too high. And we'll see this later w w with Carla. You know, I feel like people like Carla and James who kept their threat level way too high, you know, that is an issue because Cody and Jesse played similar games to, to Carla and James. The only difference really being that their threat levels being Carla and James are way, way too high. And that's Ellie's biggest problem here. Gabler was able to really just tell a few people a few true things about Ellie and they were just like, oh, you're right. You know what? Ellie's a giant threat. If your game can fall apart that fast, you have a serious problem. All right. I said, you know, earlier that I felt like the Ryan pick may make some people angry, but this one's going to make people really angry. I have Owen at 10. I just don't see it. Like, I get that his edit's awesome. He had a great story, a great un underdog. But if we're talking on paper here, he votes right two or three times in the entire season. And he goes to, I believe, over 10 tribals. That's a horrible record one of the worst games on paper socially and tr strategically you know he's left out of most votes here and the only votes that he's in are the first boot vote as well as the cody blindside vote where he kind of got saved by jesse and i may be missing one more but i mean come on this is a horrible game on paper at nine i have dwight and honestly the biggest argument here can you think of a giant dwight move I just, I can't. He doesn't make the jury here. And to me, his big move was taken away from the red team winning out. He should have maybe considered th throwing a challenge here to, to get out a Cody or a Jesse in the late pre-merge as he had control. He and Noel had control over the entire tribe with an, a Noel's advantage, as well as the fact that, I, I, you know, it was going to be a tie vote, but most of the split stuff worked out in him in Noel's favor. So I, I think overall, Dwight, although he was in a decent spot i just like what's the dwight move i wouldn't be saying this maybe a month or two ago you know i had sammy at number one for i i can't even tell you how many weeks I, it had to be seven or eight from really the second or third episode all the way up until i would say probably the ninth or tenth he was in my top two i mean he was doing fantastic it was him and jesse and to me he really just never made that move and towards the end he just actively played like a pussy he did not get in the numbers you know at, at the start of the merge you know after that big ellie blind side and i think to me he just never got the move he kept talking about it and talking about it but he never made the move and eventually kind of just became carla's puppet until she couldn't really use him anymore if y'all thought the ryan or the sammy pick was gonna make people mad at seven i got cassidy i'm sorry her game is not some sort of master class not you know like a some part Parvity game. It's it's not some uh, Amanda Kimmel game, a you know Sari game. It's just not that. She played a below average game and got to the end and then failed to win against below average players. To me, this is just on paper bad. Her moves that I've seen in the comments from her quote unquote stands have been one of two things. Either one, they say you know she has survived the votes. It's like wow she got to the end and survived the votes it's almost like every person who sat at final tribal has that move so it's very confusing and the other one is beating ryan in their little battle so if beating ryan and not being voted out is your best move at final tribal to preach then i think you know where you, you stand at number six, I have Noelle, a player who, you know, to me, I think her biggest issue was that she just never got to a spot of power. She made moves, which not many players in this post merge can say. She has a great story. Not many players can say that. I think she wins a jury vote against many, many people in this post merge. Again, not many people can say that. The issue is she's just never clearly in power. And it's very rare that a winner is just never clearly in a place of power. Um, she needed to play just like Gabe Gabler did keep her threat level down, but it was so hard with her leg and her story. It was just so obvious. So Noelle makes it as high as I can possibly put her, but I can't put her any higher. And number five here, I got James. I got to say James navigates this pre-merge masterfully with Carla and then gets to the merge and navigates the first few rounds amazingly, rising to a spot of power on, on a tribe that was being targeted. I mean, great, great stuff by James. Again, he's kind of second fiddle to Carla, so he is going to be below Carla. 
Carla. I have Gabler here. What do I got to say about, about the winner? I mean, I, I kind of said it in past videos, but I think overall his game centers around always being near power. Again, just having that sentience in the game, not just being either on the bottom for every vote or being carried through the game. Cassidy was carried and Owen was on the bottom of every single vote. Gabler played this end game perfectly, beats the main threat and fire. Again, a great end game um, and a decent game. A decent is the word for Gabler, but the edit, you know, questionable at best. At number three here, I got Carla. To me, everything that I just said about James applies to Carla. Domination in the pre-merge on her tribe, domination for the start of the merge as far as the social relationships and the strategy goes alongside jesse and cody the difference is i think to me jesse and cody kept their threat levels down while having a bit more control than carla and james but the reason that she does make it over james here is because she's more of a threat and is able to at least keep herself in the game i won't say she manages her threat level of it very well but she stays in the game here being the bigger target okay at two i have cody now the reason cody is below jesse is because jesse plays the game better has more control over the moves and he's even admitted himself that jesse was the better player and made more decisions in the game although cody's input was not taken lightly and that's really what keeps him at two and not you know falling back as being more of kind of a goat to jesse is he makes the, the decisions here he's not just jet jesse's goat here he arguably has a better so social game but jesse's strategy is unmatched here and that's really why cody does stay at two and then at number one it, we, we all knew it's jesse there is no arg argument against it to me he plays the best game i guess the only place you could really argue at least the earliest is dom and wendell but you could even go back to people like david from the 33 to me he's played a fantastic game here um, really controlled the game from start to finish here uh, and, and has played one of the better games we've ever seen in the history of, of survivor uh, having control over almost every single vote that, that he was in to me his only real blunder was, was vote, voting out neck up but it, i guess it ended up working out so what do i know but what do you think what do you agree and disagree with in my rankings let me know down below in the comments as always none of this happens so that you guys and that's what i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace